and that's the city was because I had my second kid, so I've kind of been in motherland for a long time, and not to mention New Westminster, which is kind of like another world. So it's good to be out again and engaging with folks like yourselves. Um, what I would like to get us thinking about tonight, and um, what struck me when I looked at the um, the various ideas and the project concept in general, is the idea of where is the circle. Um, so let me explain. Um, so as a Métis Cree and German girl who was blessed to be born in the Coast Salish territory, um, to, to grow up here and to raise my children here, um, I feel a very deep sense of connection to the land and I also feel a very deep sense of um, urgency and justice for the local indigenous people, the Coast Salish, and something I'm speaking people, to have a visible presence and a visible role um, in shaping their land. And I think that so far Vancouver has really missed out by not having uh, Coast Salish people, Montaigne people, their stories and their, their narratives and their history and their perspectives uh, in a much more visible and included way in Vancouver. So when I say let's think about the circle, I think um, part of that is questioning the concept of the square and the roots of the square. I understand that where's the square is basically saying where's our public gathering place and it's not so literal to mean it has to be square, but it still does have the significance of this colonial history of you know, ordering space and purifying space and rationalizing space in certain ways that in the case of North America had a very big impact on existing cultural landscapes. And those existing cultural landscapes are still here. And the indigenous knowledge and the, the organic um, concepts of interconnectedness of all things and you know, all of these really rich um, knowledge and perspectives are still here. And so, what I would like to encourage us to do is, you know, to think about, well, what is this all about? Why do we even want these places? For me, it's about places of understanding, places of building understanding and building inclusion. You know, and that can still be, you know, one of those fun, uh, lively ways that, that we all love and that makes city and public culture so exciting. Um, you know, but, but when I think about the public space and the public gatherings and taking it to the street that I've experienced in Vancouver, a lot of that was, you know, the peace march as a child in the 80s, going out and taking it to the street, you know, taking the streets and, and filling it with our, with our dreams and our, and our fears and our protests. And, you know, of course, the peace march doesn't happen anymore. And so when I look around at what other kinds of things are going on, very much of it is about spectacle, very much, it's, you know, when, when, the, when the Canucks do really well, people take it to the streets, you know, we see that public life, that public culture, uh, when the fireworks are happening, you know, we have lots of people gathering. But there also is an element of gathering in public life and public, um, um, the sort of public space that has to do with work and not in a serious, boring way, but just the idea of getting together, talking about what we need to do, talking about what our issues are, what do we really want to do, you know, as people, as a city, as a community. And traditionally, that's how Indigenous people across Canada would do their work. They would come together in a very public way, in a very lively way, and in a very cultural way, and celebratory way, but to discuss and to consider and to form circles, you know, councils, um, all, all kinds of very, very different models, but ways of coming together and really working together in an inclusive way. Children, elders, everybody, you know, involved in that work. So I think, um, you know, those kinds of things can play into this as well. So I would just like to encourage that as we do this, as we dream big and as we you know, think about the kind of city that we want to have, that we return to the roots of where we are. Because the roots of where we are are indigenous and there's lots of knowledge here and there's lots of rich perspectives that the Coast Salish people have to offer and that we can all learn from and benefit from and that will really ground us in a, in a rich, you know, beautiful um, public life. Thank you.